Hello, attractive and well-educated watchers. So unfortunately, we had to end the Rose Mechanicus game because shit hit the fan in the more technical sense, and we won't be able to do any more of that. But it was something that people really liked, and we were really happy to do it. We had a lot of fun, so we're starting over a new game. And we hope that you'll all enjoy it with us. Oh. Nice, we got like updates and stuff, I guess. <clears throat> you are part of an elaborate experiment on a glitter world as part of a reality entertainment show which billions flocked to watch. Out of a hundred contestants, you were among the last to survive. You managed to escape your current existence by distracting the hosts of the show and through a wild run to the starport and off the planet onto freedom. Years later, your starship ran out of fuel over a rim world and you descend onto it. As you descend, you notice that for some weird reason, you were outfitted with the knowledge to produce more of your kind. Could it be a sign? Yeah, obviously you are in the next stage of the game. Anyway, this character is called Rouge Kaladi, which literally means red player. <laughs> um, so, just so you know, fun fact. First and foremost, what we're going to do is unforbid everything. This particular one we're trying to do in this series is going to be more of an informational series because we have gotten a brief complaint from at least one person that we are moving things a little too fast. And that's understandable. This is a very complex, advanced, and uh, it's a big game. So, first and foremost, when you get onto a map, the first thing you want to do is you want to check around and see what your map actually is. For us, that namely starts with going around and looking for things that we recognize. For example, up here is compacted steel, more compacted steel, that's going to be very important for androids. Um, androids and other such. We're actually really under, uh, really knowledgeable about this game at this point. We have well over, you know, several hundred hours on this. We've been playing this game for literally years. So, uh, we know what we're looking at. But a lot of people don't. These right over here are ship chunks. You can uh, disassemble them. Deconstruct them. Sorry. To uh, get steel and components. Uh, this green rock here is Chalcedon, but we'll get to stuff like that later. Now, in these rocks, there are ores. This is compacted steel, for the record. We suppose it's not an ore. It's just a bunch of steel. Here is what compacted machinery looks like. We'll just uh, deconstruct that. And... Nice. And uh, here, let's see if we can find it. This is what compacted titanium looks like. These are boomalopes. They are a vanilla creature, though we have tons and tons of mods. Boomalopes are awesome, in their own special way. You don't really want to shoot at them much, or they will explode. But if you can tame them, get them obedience training, and all of that good stuff, you will have a near unlimited supply of chem fuel, which can fuel your generators. Or in our case, fuel our massive uh, appetite for marijuana products. We all have our own things. We don't judge you for it, you know. Anyway, moving on with life. So, we've seen that we have a pretty reasonable mountainy setting. Probably hooked down somewhere. We've got alpacas, wargs. Uh, we don't like wargs all that much, but whatever. We don't need to do anything with them right now. Right now, actually, we have a really nice spot because we have a place that we can dig in and build around our area. Uh, which we think we'll actually do. First off, familiarize yourself with the orders menu. Now, we, as we said, have a bunch of mods, but there's mine, which we're going to do very quickly make use of. There are things like a mod which gives you the unforbid everything thing uh, button, which we highly recommend. Uh, right now, what we want is to go to structure. There will be walls there. And we might as well start with wooden walls. We're going to try to make sure that our 
sh uh, sorry, our shortest wall is no more than 13 wide because that will mean that we will have to put central support beams into the building so that the roof will have support. And that's no bueno. It's just not fun. Uh, this is a very special mod-bound startup. Always remember to put a door, kids. And this particular startup is a robot, a single android, escaped from wherever the heck she came from, a reality TV show, I guess. And she crash-landed on this planet, is trying to make her own home again. It's important, once you have the ability to do so, to <clears throat> haul all of the things back to a stockpile zone, one that presumably you will make. This stockpile zone, at present, doesn't have to be very big, but eventually in time you'll build other buildings around this area that will help bolster this stockpile zone. We actually don't need to haul urgently that. Uh, we generally work like at a really fast pace, so we're going to quicken things up here, just so we don't get boring. Now, it's really important to get these kind of things inside quickly. And on that note, it's very important to get a bed for every one of your colonists on the first night, or else they will be very unhappy when they get back. Do yourself a favor and allow all for the first night. We can take care of things like this stockpile later after we get a roof over our heads. Like so. Now this is supposed to be, if you guys are familiar with the Rose Mechanicus, uh, the Rose Mechanicus was supposed to be a quite difficult setting. This is supposed to be brutally hard setting because you are all alone. You don't even have the droids to handle. Although we might work on fixing that in a second here. Where are you going, Rouge? Where are you going? Rouge. We, we almost called her Rose. Sorry. Rouge. Nice. Taking care of business. Well, it seems that she has set up her own little house. And that is what's important right now. Ooh. A giant murder machine monster. That is definitely what we want right outside of our house on the first night. No matter. Doink. So, that's a power cell. Uh, it, we believe it's a mod item? Doesn't really matter right now. Uh, one of the first things that you're going to want to do in this kind of game, and this really is sort of like a, a matter of opinion, but if you have the capability of using this particular item, we say use it earlier rather than later, uh, make yourself a steel droid fabricator so you can start pumping out robotic labor. Uh, we don't know hardly anything about the android printer, but we'll strongly consider making it right here. Because we've never actually done anything with androids until very, very recently. This is, this is our first ever Android game minus one Android game where we worked really hard not to do anything Android-y. Uh, so, that's a... Uh, that is certainly a thing. We dearly hope for our sake that we're not, uh... just gonna screw the pooch on everything. Well, 
One day, nutrition, plasteel, advanced components. Well, we have plasteel, but we only have enough plasteel to make one robot. And... No special modules. Cargo pods. Oh, well, who cares about you, though? Fuck all of that shit. We got some camel hair to haul. What are you doing, Rouge? Oh, she's praying. Androids pray? That seems a little dubious. Oh, well, it doesn't matter to us. Let's get a worker droid going on here. Dubious indeed. Rouge, just, just, just fill the printer. Just do this one job, then you can go lollygag about. We don't care. That's not true. We care very deeply. We care deeply for you, Rouge. We are your creator. We have created you for a purpose. To entertain our people. So do it. Be entertaining. Where are you going, child? That makes sense. Aha! Uh -huh. And now, while she sleeps, it will print off... Oh dear. It will print off a worker droid, which will help us work on this next thing. Now, we have a mod called Tilled Soil. We recommend literally everybody get this mod. No questions asked. No... No, why you should do it, just do it. Like, do as we say. Because this is our number one favorite mod out of pretty much the entire game. What happens is you till a soil. Oh. oh. So once you have a worker droid, make him not hunt. Make him do everything. Right now, that's pretty important. Later, you will want to be really stingy about this guy. But for now, you're off scot-free. So while, while they're at it, Let's set up a 5x20 place where we will grow corn. Beyond that, and remember, you have to do it the way we're showing you, at least right now. Set up a 4x20 place and then expand it to a 5x20 place, or else it will think you're just trying to expand the first field. A shame, we know. We recommend you choose rice or carrots. Both of them have similar growth times, which is among the quickest in the game. Next, of course, a 4x20 space. Expand it to a 5x20 space. And we would recommend you choose heal root, because you might get hurt. Naturally, we'll do this a couple of times. You might notice that we err toward significantly more place to farm rather than significantly less. And we would really, really hope that the reasoning for this is self-explanatory. Because we're not going to explain it. You should get it that by this point. This is a colony and economics and survival game, guys. It's, it's what you do. So, we think the final thing we're going to want, because we always try to run super food heavy, it's better to have more food than less food, is probably go for barley. It's immune to blight, and that's good. Uh, all of these plants, for the record, that we're getting are not vanilla. Oh, jeez. Man-hunting raccoons. Yeah. Of uh, a raccoon. Oh, 
How good are you at shooting things, Rouge? We mean you're about as good as your creature of burden. So, sure, let's start there. For sure you can shoot whatever. Oh, no, 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 he's totally screwed. He's got to fend for himself, doesn't he? Oh, uh, no, no, sorry, bro. We, we don't allow you to run away from this kind of... This kind of uh, responsibility. Your colony needs you. And besides, you got that raccoon on the ropes. Well, you've got that raccoon on the ropes because you're getting the shit kicked out of you. We are, however, going to set up a sleeping spot for you. Boom. Look at that sleeping spot. Excellent droid. Jeez, this is bad. We're, we're, don't worry, we're, we're pretty sure it'll be okay. Don't blow up in her face. Hopefully. Oh my goodness, come on. Yes. Fix the work bot. Rudimentary mechanics, but functional ones all the same. Now, right now, we understand that a big problem is that we don't have enough steel. Or any power at all, period. We have this one little power cell, and it's not going to charge this droid. Oh, geez, what are we going to call this? We're going to call this place the Free Rouge State. Sure, that's, that's good. And we're going to call this Settlement... The settlement or the colony of Verdant. Because we plan to make, yeah, the Free Rouge State and their capital of Verdant. Because we plan to have a lot of plants or some shit. Because that's, that's definitely what we're going to do. Well, actually, with, with that, we think we're pretty... And look there go. We think we're pretty good on this right now. We think uh, we think we're gonna end that here, and we hope you guys had a great time. Hope you guys are excited for this brand new series in RimWorld. We are very much looking forward to getting a whole big old educational lineup going on. Remember, folks, more food rather than less. Stay safe. Have a great night. Remember to like and subscribe.